Hey, young people. What is it? Epstein or Epstein? I don't want to mispronounce it. Found dead in a cell. Wow. Drudge is all over this. Look at these different articles about it. People close to him feared murdered. Told authority someone tried to kill him. Skepticism ensues. Smells fishy. Day after docks dropped. He hanged himself. Taken off suicide watch. Wire guards broke protocol. Attorney General appalled. DOJ FBI investigating. Photos. Conspiracies erupt. Hashtag Clinton body count versus hashtag Trump body count. Well, let's see. Trump's zero and Clinton's at about, what, 36? Flashback. Life is definitely in jeopardy. Let's take a look at some of these. So this, according to New York Post, high security jail. Jeffrey, die, millionaire, pedophile. Uh, it was in federal custody. Uh, the money manager was found hanged by the neck. They didn't say with what. I'm assuming sheets. Uh, they were appalled, found dead. Must be answered. Everybody's shocked. Let me tell you people something. A prison is a, or jail is a liberal paradise. They love it. They like to keep everybody locked up. Everybody's under video surveillance. There's no gun signs everywhere. There's no weapons. And there's lots of government people standing around waiting to protect you. Yet prisons are the most violent place in the world. And somehow liberals keep saying, if you get, if we take guns from good people, We'll make you as safe as in, in a prison. Really? Are you kidding me? Anyway, I digress. Uh, he was taken off suicide watch despite an incident three weeks before where he was sprawled out unconscious with neck injuries. So a lot of people are saying, you know, this is foul, etc. Let's say new documents. He was a pervert, demanded diet of three orgasms a day. Is that a lot? Rick, you can't say, I'm just asking left scores of teenage girls sexually assaulted. Were the teenagers like the teens committing murder that we keep seeing? Were they like 19 or were they 13? I, I don't know a whole bunch about this case. Uh, all I know is that he had an island and he was big buddies with a lot of liberal left wings like the Clintons. And Clinton, I think, was at his island 20-something times on his plane or whatever. Let's look at another article. This article said his life was in jeopardy as powerful pals, i.e. Clintons, don't want their secrets out. There's a lot of left wings that were all always in the scandals and deaths is left wing. But the left wing media won't cover it and you have to pick it up on these things. Then after a week or so, it'll be scrubbed from the Internet and you won't be able to find it. Here's a little quick clip of them busting in his door. Nice man bun there, copper. Have a little soy for breakfast. Rick, you can't say... Be quiet. Watch the video. What's the six? You guys know what's up? Yes, it's yeah. Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, shut up. up. That's, his that's his house. Shut up. And that's the biggest... Private house in New York. Fifty thousand square foot house. Fifty thousand square foot house? Holy smokes. You can hire a lot of teenagers in there. So this article shows some pictures of him, uh all his friends, suicide attempt. They don't know if he was attacked or not. Uh that's him in court. Of course, on his last court appearance, he weaseled out of a bunch of charges and got eighteen months in jail, only had to serve like a year. And it was on work release. So he really didn't go to jail. And according to the new documents, he was actually back to having sex with teens uh, while he was out serving his time for his first sentence. But, you know, money has his privileges. You know, and I'm sure he was red flagged with all these red flags. Well, I'm sure he wasn't allowed to have a gun. I'm sure the police came and took his guns. Not. The rich will never have to apply by the rules they want the idiots to apply by. Red flag laws are unconstitutional. It's just pissing me off how much talk there is about them. But I digress. Let's stay on uh, Bill Clinton's buddy, another death surrounding Bill Clinton and the Clintons. Uh, let's see. His life's in jeopardy. It's a picture of his house. $60 million Manhattan Manton raided. Uh, aerial shots. Billionaire. I'm sure he paid 
those teens a lot of money. There's a drawing of him in court. Back to his house. This is a video. This is aerial footage of his uh, place. Nice place. Here's one of the victims. Abused her since she was 16. Showing no emotion. Wow. Was she was 16 at his house. She looks a little bit older now, calling abuse. I wonder when she was getting probably drugs and to hang out with Clinton and getting paid big money and to ride around and live fancy lifestyle that obviously changed how much she weighs from then to now. But I don't know how old she is now, but it just seems funny that women are always victims 15, 20 years later. Uh, let's see here. Huge stash of child abuse images. Found by FBI agents. There's his door that they beat up with a banger. Uh, let's see. 2005, parents of a 14-year-old girl told Florida police, oh, he molested a 14-year-old back in 2005. Police searched property, found photos of the girl. Why wasn't he charged on that? 2006, charged with multiple counts of unlawful sex. 2007. Put together a plea deal for 54. He agreed to plead guilty to two felony prostitution charges. 2008. Appears in court plead guilty to two lesser counts. 2009. July 29. Arrested for child sex trafficking. Prosecutors accuse him. Grand jury indictment of paying dozens of girls as young as 14 to engage in sex acts with him. Uh, New York properties. Pled not guilty. Could face 45 years. More than a dozen women have now come forward with more sex abuse allegations, and all the cases are dismissed. Not prosecuted, because he's dead. Who gets the money? Follow the money. Who gets the money from his death? The Clinton Foundation? Here's another news article. Plus, the initial report is that Jeffrey Epstein was found on the floor in his cell in a fetal position, semi-conscious with marks to his neck. Investigators are trying to determine what happened to Epstein inside the Metropolitan Correctional Center? He's dead. In one of the secure areas of the jail. Two sources say Epstein may have tried to hang himself. A third source cautioned Epstein's injuries were not serious and questioned if Epstein might be seeking some kind of transfer. This, as a fourth source says, an assault has not been ruled out. That another man in the same area was questioned. Epstein was ordered held without bail since his arrest on the sex trafficking charges. He had asked to be housed in his Upper East Side mansion with an ankle bracelet and private guards, but the judge said he was a risk of flight and a danger given the allegations he sexually abused underage girls. He has pleaded not guilty. Of course he has. Several sources tell us the initial... Oh, this article says uh, he was nabbed this month with a fake passport. Locked up him in fears of uh, fleeing the country. Ah, his... His passport was faked under a different name, a foreign passport. Different name. Wow. Oh, so the girls were paid hundreds of dollars to perform sex acts and to re uh, recruit additional girls. So the girls were prostituting, and now they're victims. Wow. Shocker. Ray Charles could have saw that one coming. People called his island Pedophile Island. <laughs> I swear, man, I love Trump when he tweets and just triggers the left. <laughs> Trump tweeted, died by suicide on 24-7 hour watch. Red Trump retweeted. Yeah, right. How does that happen? Jeffrey Einstein had information on Bill Clinton and now he's dead, I see. <laughs> oh, Mr. Trump, I freaking love you sometime, man, I swear. <laughs> but you need to back off on the red flag and gun shit, dude, or you're going to be on my shit list. But I digress. I guess Trump retweeted uh, former Clinton of misconduct. Documents were unsealed yesterday revealing that top Democrats, including Bill Clinton, took private jet, jet trips to uh, Jeffrey Epstein's pedophile island. And that's what the media is calling it. Of course, it's the left, so... Get it now, because all these stories will disappear within six months, and you won't be able to find it. 
Um, it's funny how anything against the liberal left suddenly disappears from media. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> One of Trump's appointees to public housing in New York tweeted, P.S. Let me know when I'm supposed to feel bad about this. Ooh, nice. Of course, Titters, or Twitter is blocking uh, Clinton body count and Clinton crime family tweets. It's okay if you put Trump uh, body count, but if you put these, they said they're marking it as fake news. How convenient, Mr. Twitter. Freaking left-wing line pieces of no good, low-down, dirty, left... Never mind. Something stinks to high heaven. How does someone on Suicide Watch? I'll tell you how. The government is incompetent and can't do any damn thing right, even when they get what they want. Even when they can lock you up under guard, put you on Suicide Watch, remove every piece of item that you can hang yourself with, somehow a person ends up dead and people are shocked. How could government fail? They're normally so competent. Where you been living? Idiotville? Of course the government failed. But we should give them the guns because it'll be better when only they have guns and nobody else does. Freaking idiots. Not a very good photo, but here they are uh, trying to revive him as they wheeled into downtown hospital. I don't know about any of y'all who's ever performed CPR, but you can't give twist chest compressions while you're walking. This dude's standing straight up. The only thing he's smashing down on there is maybe enough pressure to smash a grape, but he ain't making the heart pump no blood. Rick, you can't say that. He's the fire department. You just hate firemen. Whatever. A lot of people think it's kind of pretty funny that 24 hours after the unsealing of the devastating documents and exhibits, uh, suddenly he ends up dead. Look, if they got all these witnesses and all these people going there, call them in the grand jury. Have the FBI investigate and talk to Clintons. And then when they lie, they can go, well, they had no intent, so we're just going to close the case. Freaking crooked Comey. Don't worry, everybody sleep tight. The FBI and Department of Justice Attorney General were opening investigations into the death. Barr said he's appalled to learn of the suicide in federal custody. Don't worry, the federal government's right on it. We'll, get, we'll have all kind of answers. Of course, they won't be able to tell us any answers because it's an ongoing investigation, but rest assured, they'll get to the bottom of it. <laughs> Jesus, almost gagged on that. So Jennifer, who is 32, 17 years before is when he raped her. 17 years later, she wants to uh, pursue prosecution. That, that That is just so BS. I, I'm sorry. Um... They're saying the Attorney General Barr is livid because he died in custody. You mean to tell me you don't have cameras in a prison? You can't walk out your front door without being in somebody's damn camera. And you don't have cameras in a high security suicide watch sale on a prisoner of high value, supposedly of a high risk of suicide. You're telling me there's no video footage? Whatever, I don't buy that. And, of course, people close to him are saying that he was murdered. Of course they're going to say that. They liked him, they support him. Uh, if he's murdered, then they can say he was innocent and he wanted to clear his name and wanted to go to trial. Uh, look, I, I don't think Clinton had anything to do with his death. I don't think Trump had anything to do with it. Um, maybe somebody paid off a guard. I don't know. I'm not saying his death wasn't a suicide or was. But there's got to be videotape. They're going to get to the bottom of it. And, uh, I mean, between the knots and how it was tied and how it was laying and whether he had help and what did he use to hang himself on, I mean, I'd be interested to see the crime scene photos and, and somebody do a FOIA request on this report after it's done because usually they don't have things that you can tie to in the cells, so people can't do that. Um, so I don't know. Uh, you would think in a suicide watch area they'd have sheets that would tear easy so you couldn't tie them together. Uh, but again, without photos, without knowing, nobody really knows. But uh, I mean, I'm cracking on Clinton and a lot of people have died around Clinton. But do I think Clinton has the juice to get in and kill this dude while he's in a federal lockup? I don't think so. But I could be wrong. I'll have all my conspiracy hearers 
I'm sure some of you will be blaming the Russians. Somebody else will be blaming the Jews. Somebody else will be blaming Trump. Uh, I'm sure there's a whole lot of blame going around, but will we ever know? Who freaking knows? All right, we'll end that there.